here at PAB Coventry Automotive Parts, just like this, are their bread and butter. They're using a lot of premium power machines to make components like this and more. We manufacture steel components, pressings, assemblies, mainly for the automotive industry, and that's high-end vehicles, luxury vehicles, mainly in the UK. Since 2004, we've been investing in machinery, and we now have nine Prima Power machines, varying from two-axis to five-axis lasers, CNC punches, and brake presses. Because we deal with OEMs here at PAB, there's always the challenge to get parts quicker, to get them cheaper, to get them better quality. The demand by the customer gets more and more each year. Here at PAB, we pride ourselves on giving the customer a solution that they didn't know they needed, quick turnaround and quality products. Virtually every product that we do here is a brand new design from our customers. For example, there was a brake shield that we needed to manufacture. The customer had an issue with cooling and dirt on the brakes. We managed to design, manufacture the tool and get parts out in two weeks. We demand a lot from our machines, reliability, quality, precision, and we need it to run virtually 24 seven. And it's, it's challenging out there. With new sectors and new customers and new projects comes a whole raft of new problems that we've got to solve. We're growing by looking at our sector split. We've moved from fully automotive to now hopefully the construction industry. Elements of the construction industry required us to look at thicker, heavier, stronger materials, which obviously had its challenges. Previously we cut materials ranging from one mil through to five millimetres. The new sector that we're working in now works from six millimetres all the way through to 25 millimetre steel. To find solutions, we work with our current partner, Prima Power. I took all the information for the new sector and what would be required across the Barry, and we worked with him in Italy, looking at some trials, etc. At these cutting trials, we had to prove that the material thicknesses were okay, we could achieve the quality required, and the size of holes required within the products. At the end of the trial, we actually realised that we could achieve more than we expected. Size of holes were a lot smaller, and the advantage of this, we could reduce the amount of CNC machining required within the business, and the quality of the cut was also higher than we expected. The effects of the improved quality and the reduction in processes has made the project more profitable. To the business, that's great because it allows us to move forward and hopefully expand in this sector. Mm -hmm.